A few days away from work, so let's see what's new with this morning's Celtic FC news. Kevin Endoram has emerged as a potential summer target for Celtic. The champions of Scotland are keen on bolstering the squad ahead of the upcoming campaign and the Mets midfield star has been identified as a feasible option in the wake of his side's relegation from League One. Manchester City duo Keo Itakura and Taylor Howard Bellies and Hammerby if Iraq international Mohaned Jizhi are also being monitored as the Australian looks to strengthen his ranks. One new name on the radar is KAA Gents Kenya international, Joseph Okumu, and the player's agent has suggested German giants Borussia Dortmund have made an official inquiry and Celtic and Arsenal have made informal approaches for his client. He told People Daily Kenya, we have had informal interests from English side Arsenal and Scottish giant Celtic. Last month, the Celtic manager revealed that the club are always looking to improve areas that they see fit on and off the pitch. Now that his debut campaign in charge of the boys has come to an end, his focus can now turn to help the club to progress even further and strengthen the areas that he feels need work. Endorum, 26, progressed through the youth ranks of Monaco before making his league debut back in August 2016. However, his minutes were limited with the Monegasques and a fee of €4 million Euros was eventually agreed with Mets following an impressive loan stint during the 2019-20 season. Looking at current left-back options Greg Taylor and Bolai Bolingali, the latter has found himself out of the squad more often than not this season, meaning that this summer could well see him leaving the club if he's not in Postacogla's plans for the future. Celtic are well equipped in midfield but, at the same time, have parted ways with two of their most experienced stars, Tom Rogic and Nee Bitten. Ismail Asoro, already an outcast, is expected to find a new suitor prior to the upcoming campaign. Out of favour James McCarthy has fallen down the pecking order, also the Japan international Yosuke Idaguchi failed to make an instant impact, unlike his fellow countrymen Ryo Hatate, Kyogo Furuhashi and Daisen Maeda. Skipper Callum McGregor has been ever-present as the deep-lying playmaker and the addition of Endorum should add depth as well as quality in terms of marshalling the back line and scripting attacking transitions. Celtic should also opt for a new number 8 to challenge and cover Matt O'Reilly and Hat Ape, but a move for the Frenchman must be prioritised which could prove to be yet another shrewd piece of transfer business. To compare Taylor's latest campaign at Celtic with G's previous full season with Hammerby, the 25-year-old, not only managed to get his name on the score sheet, he also racked up more assists than his hoops counterpart. He also had more shots at goal, crosses and interceptions than the Scotland international, which says to us that Taylor could see his place in the team come under threat should Gies find himself at Parkhead in the summer. Hailed by his teammate Darajan Bojanic, as a player who always makes good decisions on the pitch, Gies could find himself making another good decision if he chooses to link up with Postacogla at Celtic to help them achieve their targets for next season. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.